Hello everyone, it's my channel. Today we're doing the reading for sign of Scorpio, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Scorpio. If you like a personal reading, that's going to be the first link in the description down below. I'll repeat that first link in the description down below for a personal reading. Um, you can also go find my Etsy shop, my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on. You can also find me on Patreon and Ko-Fi, and if you'd like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate donations here. So, Scorpio, let's see what spirit has in store for yourself, what is the messages for you, and what is coming towards you. We have percent of Scorpio. Okay. We have number eleven with Bast. We have holy longing, desire, instinct, sensuality. All right, so you're connected with Bast here. There's something that you're desiring. We have number six, the right timing and direction. We have Sothis, Kanchu, and Amon Ra. Some more deities you're connecting with. So you're being put in the right direction in the right timing with something that you are desiring here. All right, we have number three with cosmic influences. We have Thoth and Kapara. All right, these are what's influencing you. These beings, they're pushing you in the right direction. All right. We have number 19 with the Monra. Solar energies, transfiguration, alchemical gold. All right, so we're connecting a lot with the sun here. It's rays, it's influences here with this being coming out. All right, but we are transfiguring here. We are transmuting something into what would be considered gold. Something that you are desiring. Alright. So, Scorpio, let's have a deeper look at these beings here with you. Number 11. The sensual cat goddess best creates a compelling desire to be born into form from the disembodied soul. In the realm of formlessness, her instinctual holy longing is irresistible in its urgency to create new life. She shows us that birth is sacred and being born into form is a blessing, not a curse. She is our guardian through the birthing chambers each time we are ready to renew our form. As a fertility goddess, Bast represents the sacred side of lust and the discernment to know when to surrender to the holy longing, which is based in the desire to embody form and to connect to the soft, warm, animal aspect of our human bodies. Without her alluring promises of new delights, we would never have the courage to re-enter the cosmic birth canal and be born over and over again. With each birth, we celebrate the joy and magic of our precious incarnation here on Earth. One of Bast's functions is to help the birth mother distinguish and call for the new soul that is coming towards her during conception. Every act of creation requires birth, whether it's the words that come from your mouth or the food that rises at the table. If you've drawn this card, Bast is showing up as a guardian and guide to lead you to your heart's desires and to bring your instincts and sensuality into alignment with your holy longing. Pay close attention to what you are now birthing into the world. Bast will help you see and hold to the higher dedication and commitment underlying what you most desire to create. Additionally, consider how cats are self-confident and self-contained and how they reflect for us a strong example of self-love and self-care. If Bast appears in your reading, make the time to settle in and pamper yourself. You deserve it. All right, so let's see, we have number 19. This is Amun Ra, brings together the great solar gods, Amun and Ra, who unite to represent the sun in the fullness of its mysteries, honoring both the bright golden illuminating brilliance of the day and the hidden, Mysterious night journey when the sun is invisible. Amun Ra announces our opportunity to step into our full inner authority, into an awakened state of illuminated consciousness. When you fully embrace the cycles of life and death and pass through the portals of light and dark, each transforms into its opposite in the dance of Ra and Run. An alchemical process is unleashed as the seen mixes with the unseen, that which is consciously created from that awareness. Project, event, or object is a spiritualized matter, the alchemical gold. We ourselves are the spiritualized matter when we engage with the Mon Ra, who infuses us with dignity and royalty. The powerful light from the solar mysteries 
shines upon us and transfigures us and we become spiritually mature beings who embodies shamanic consciousness in everyday life Munra helps us realize that everything we need to heal ourselves in our world is within our reach he enters this oracle to help us find it if you pull this card you are now ready to embody the solar energies and radiate them into the world around you you have the opportunity to experience a sacred marriage and enter into the company of gods becoming fully aware of your divinity as you meditate on the image of Munra, you may experience a feeling of radiant power and wholeness and readiness to step fully into your power in the world choose wisely what you create from this auspicious moment remember that whatever you manifest in the physical world not only shines in the visible blazing light of raw but also reflects the great mysteries of the unseen among the hidden face of the sun all right right number three just at the back of the book At balances the heart, the light of truth, while Thoth communicates the higher language of wisdom. Meanwhile, Kapira Ra protects the earth as he spins the world through the cycles of change as the initiate takes the next step on his or her path of destiny. If you pull this card, these great allies are already, already protecting and guiding you. Notice how the qualities of truth, balance, order, wisdom, illumination, and enlightened communication weave through the stories and cycles occurring in your life in relationship to your question. Sit, uh, uh, sit with these wise ones and remember. All right. Number six. Signing, shining star, Sothis, generously pours her gifts upon our planet as Kanshu, the moon god, travels the sky, reflecting for us the phases and faces of our divinity. The moon Ra, the radiance of the sun's all-seeing eye, transfigures ourselves and our creations into the alchemical gold of enlightened being. If you've chosen this card, focus upon the images of the star, the sun, and the moon. Notice how the combined energies of the Turu infuse your daily life experiences with their potent gifts and power. Their attributes brought to the fore of your consciousness. <laughs> you will see clearly how when and where you as Anubis are moving forward appropriately in your personal world and how your actions reflect on our planet. Alright? I think you're going to be seeing things clearly. More and where you're being guided towards, but I feel like you're already feeling it. You're already being influenced here, Scorpio. So, the beings you're connecting with, that's messages for you. Let's get some rooms to trust yourself. We have Mars, which Mars can be the planet of like that desire, that drive there. Mars is also one of your planets as well as Aries. We have the moon, you know, which you're connected to, is connected with the stars and night, the moon. Scorpio, we have the flower, the rose here, which can be used as an offering. Rose is also um, connected with the heart, right? The heart chakra, opening that heart, heart's desires here. We have the green man, which you're connecting to, which is connecting to, which is that of the earth. We have obsidian, which is a protective stone. If you're going through a spiritual initiation, this is justice. So, Scorpio, that's all I have for you. Like I said, First link in the description down below for a personal reading. Also go to my Etsy shop. Go on to go buy something. Really appreciate that. <laughs> you also find the extended down below in the comments. Um, if you want to see more content, definitely like subscribe. Bye guys.